As a result of these trends and the development of technologies for English language learning, teachers need to learn where they fit in this dynamic world of technology. Teachers need to learn about the resources and how to use them to develop pedagogy. A lot of teachers who use technology see their pedagogy changing because they are able to use the resources that technology provides in a variety of ways that changes what they do in the classroom. In our eight-week course, we intend to look at the issues surrounding the use of technology for English language learning. In particular, we want to tackle the central question, how can teachers use communication and learning technologies for English language learning? To do this, we will look at six areas of English language learning, vocabulary, grammar, reading, speaking, listening, and writing. Each of these areas is something that we tackle in the English language classroom, even though students use all of these skills and abilities and knowledge together when they create new meanings. For each of these areas, we will look at how students learn and how technology can help. Questions about how students learn are very complex. That's why we have called upon an expert in each of the six areas to identify the key ideas. We start with their key ideas about English language learning, and then we look at how technology can help. Today, we're going to start by meeting each of our experts. We begin with Professor Jim Rinali. He's our vocabulary expert. He has worked in extensively in the use of technology for teaching and learning vocabulary. In doing that, he learned that he really needed to understand how people learn vocabulary and what the difficulties are in vocabulary learning. Hello, my name is Jim Rinali, and I'm an assistant professor in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program here at Iowa State University. I teach undergraduate courses in linguistics and second language writing, uh, as well as graduate courses in computer-assisted language learning and teaching methods. And my research interests include second language writing, technology, self-regulated learning, and second language vocabulary. Um, my, my doctoral dissertation was focused on vocabulary learning strategies. It was an evaluation of an online course in vocabulary learning strategies that I developed over a number of years to help students of English leverage the power of pedagogical dictionaries to help them use words more accurately and appropriately. Professor Rinali will introduce us to two types of vocabulary learning, incidental and intentional. Incidental learning happens while students are doing something else, such as reading. Intentional learning happens when students are studying vocabulary. We will see how technology can help with both of these. We will take a look at websites like this one that are available to you and your students. On the websites like Voice of America's Learning English, you can find a lot of examples of vocabulary as well as some pedagogical materials for teaching vocabulary. There's a rich source of material that you will find has been developed on these kinds of websites. <laughs> 